What up, Amsky? You have friendly neighborhood resident Portuguese thick boy Eric Lima here coming at you with another video episode for my secondary YouTube channel vlog in which I present to you all all my sentimental thoughts come from my heart and my soul and my mental eyeballs shenanigans come from my mind and brain. This is EML 37 TV, episode 923, and this is episode 129. Get these thumbs. We're going back to the 80s MTV era remote control. And that's what we're going to do right now. And we're going to... Oh, we're going to... We're going to add my name into this thing. Here we go. It's time to play some remote control. Once I've entered my name, and I've entered my player of who I am, and ABC, and let's go. Let's go, and let's play the game. Here we go. You know how this works. Score the most points at the end of two and a half rounds. You win. So, okay, I'm in control. Let's go channel three. Let's see if we can try another prime time. Another prime time. She's been down on Sam Malone since his ship sunk. Name the new manager of Cheers, played by Kirsty Alley. I'm going to have to... Oh, wait. Um, there you go, Rebecca. I'm trying to... I forgot how to control words. B to buzz in. Um, A to buzz in, B to select, okay? And let's stick with uh, let's stick with channel 3 here on another prime time. All right. John Stamos used to be Blackie on General Hospital, but now he stars as Uncle Jesse on what prime time show? Perfect Strangers, Full House, and, and, and I, I knew that one. Full House, come on! 15 points. 15 points, and I will close it out. I will close it out another prime time. Here we go. She married the king, she dumped the king, and now she stars on Dallas, name her. Mm-hmm. Priscilla Presley. That's the only person. Yeah, she started. I didn't know she started out of Dallas. So, anyways. All right, 30 points. I'm in the lead. Let's go to my favorite number. Seven. Channel seven. Gourmet channel. Doctors report that Americans are more health conscious. Well, we want to contribute to this trend. So, let's take an educational trip to the gourmet channel. Tigers tend to be into the red meat thing. But what can sell sugar-encrusted cornflakes? Terry the Tiger, Timmy the Tiger, Tony the Tiger. Five points, give it to me, Ken. Whoa, are you related to Einstein or something? No, but thank you for asking. I take that as a compliment. All right, 35 points, and uh, let's see. I'm sticking with Channel 7, Gourmet Channel, okay, for 10 points. How many strips of bacon are there in a McDLT? I want to say two. Oh, no. No. A McDL... Oh, none, you idiot. Eric, you idiot, it's a McDLT! Not a McBLT, you, dun you dunderhead. All right, Mike's in control. He's on the board for 10 points, and he's gone channel 8. Kitty TV. Where you can find wooden puppets, wooden jokes, and wooden people all at the same time? Why, on Kitty TV. Which animal in Mr. Rogers' neighborhood goes by the name of X... X the Owl. I knew that one. I can't believe I goofed up on one question. I want to go back and close out Channel 7. Okay. Who are those three guys with growth problems on every box of Rice Krispies? Snap, Crackle, and Pop. Many Mo and Jack, Kuka, Flynn, and Ollie. Mmm. And, uh, 55 points. 10 points for Mike. And the chick has got nothing. Let's, um, Mike picture Kitty TV. I'm going to go, let's go back to Kitty TV. What kind of object is P.B. Herman's pal, Terry? Terry for short, for pterodactyl. 65 points. And I'm going to close it out. Kitty, close out Kitty TV. On what old show could you find Ravishing Emmy Joe dancing with Freddy the Frog and Henrietta Hippo? The News of Review, The Banana Splits, or Lancelot Link? News of Review. Give me, give me 15 points. Whoa, you sure know you tribute to me? I guess you really don't have a social life, huh? Fortunately, I don't, but that's okay. Everybody picks on me about that, but so what? Okay, let's go to Channel 9. The Soaps Channel. Oh, God. Hold back the tears and answer a question about the daytime melodrama being described. Felicia Jones left her heart in Frisco. He in turn left General Hospital. Still, 
Dead sap pines for greener pastures, and he may return. Name the actor who played Frisco. Just a guess, Jack Wagner. That's the only soap star. Only Wagner. Okay. I'm going to take a risk and stick with the channel. All right, let's see what you got. In Santa Barbara, gorgeous hunk Cruz Castillo was be being hunted for murder. But he cruised past that obstacle to marry the woman who made him feel manly. Name her. I want to give it a shot and go, nope. I wonder if uh, the female contestant knows this. Eden Capwell. What a name. Brenda's on the board. Mm. Is she going to stick up? Uh, she's going to close it out. Let's see if we get some points here. The actress who portrays Ravishing Melissa on General Hospital is the daughter of which famous monkey? I'm going to try... Nope, not Davy Jones. Way too young. That's a tough one. Amy Dolans. Amy Dolans. I should have thought about that, about that one. I should have thought about that one. I know it was an actress named Amy Dolans. I didn't know that Ansel was so good. We fall warm and tingly inside. Alright, at least we got a game going. But I still got a huge lead to work with here. Mike in control. A quick goofing around. Channel 5, the Bat Channel. Okay, my kind of channel. Here we go. Time to answer questions about everyone's favorite flying rodent, Batman. I'm Batman. Oh, let's see what Batman's got. What color was Robin's cape? Yellow. Holy right answer, Batman. 90 points. And I will stick with Bat stick with the Bat Channel. To go to Bat Channel, around which squawking villain would you find thugs named Octopus, Shark, and Swordfish? Oh, come on. Come on, dude. A hundred points in the first round. A hundred points! I'm going to close it out. The, what color was Egghead's hair? Eggshell, Easter egg. Oh, no color. He was bald. He's got no... He was bald. 115 points. Alright. Uh, let's try Channel 4. See what Channel 4... Still more reruns. Mechanical Marvel Steve Austin of Six Million Dollar Man fame worked for the Office of Scientific Intelligence. What was it called for short? <laughs> let's try... Oh! That was my first... OSI. 120 points. Alright. Oh, snack break. So, I'm going to leave with a 120. Mike's got 25. Brenda's got 10. I might as well just sit and kick up my feet and let these two answer questions. But, then again, I want to set a record. I think I scored 540 or 520 points. That's how good I was in this game. Alright. Round two. Remember the whole points value double now, and there's off the air. Um, let's channel, let's channel one. Watch out for off the air, the Elvis. Elvis! In a song made famous by the king, you can knock me down, step on my face, slander my name and all over the place, burn my house, steal my car, drink my cider from my old fruit jar, but what do you have to lay off of? I believe... Blue suede shoes. Whoa, man, I'm a wash and a glow if I find fine answer. All right. And I will... Might as well stick with Elvis. Doing pretty good. If Elvis was reincarnated as Teen Throt Johnny Depp, what police series would he be on? Married with Children? Duet? Oh, come on. Come on. 21 Jump Street? I wouldn't know that one. 150 points. Come on. Close it out, Ken. Close this channel out. The Elvis channel. What's the king's middle name? Aaron. Dude. 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 Come on. Wipe it the floor. All right, let's try channel two because I haven't picked those channels. The Bon Jovi channel. We asked Washington, ask Washington Think Tank to name the most important figure of 
Flesh Century, and they were unanimous. John Bon Jovi. If explosive rocker John Bon Jovi wants to test an uh, area for radi- radiation, what instrument does he use? A seismograph? Electric guitar? I would say no. A gigger counter. Can't use the electric guitar. Uh-huh. A Geiger, ca- Geiger counter. A Geiger counter. Okay, I gotta remember that next time. That's all right. I would not be. De- I would not be de- that depressed. Um, let's see if Mike can get out of that channel. No, he's sticking with the Bon Jovi channel. Okay, sticking with Bon Jovi. If Uncle Riffic, John Bon Jovi, wanted to date the largest mammal on Earth, ew, what animal would he call? A blue whale? A blue dolphin? Nell Cotter. Nell Cotter. That's insulting. Thank God, you know, God rest your soul, but come on now. All right, um, I'm going to close out the Bon Jovi, Bon John, Bon Jovi channel. When you musical impresario, John Bon Jovi hums the theme song for the Lone Ranger, what piece of classical music is he doing? The Star Wars Overture, the William Tell Overture, the 1812 Overture, William Tell. 230 points. I'm going to be kicking someone's butt. In his thing. In this shindig. Alright, let's go for channel 5. Ranger Bob. I can lose 10 points. It's everybody's visit from everybody's favorite. Uh, Desmond, Dorsman, love of Ranger Bob. You're losing 10 points, but getting a val- valuable safety tip. And poor Ranger Bob. Here's a tip for all the piranha enthusiasts. For the piranha enthusiasts. In an unlikely event, your piranha clamps down on your jugular vein. Be patient. Within 4 hours, the piranha will learn who's boss and let go. Remember, if you're a Ranger Bob safety cub, it's safety first, or not at all. Ah, <laughs> uh, I can I can afford to lose. Uh, I can afford to lose ten points out of it. Beat the bishop. It's time for once again for every uh, for the post every uh, favorite game show. Beat the bishop. Just completely simple math problem before our prancing padre. You know what I do. Your problem for today is seven times eight times nine times ten. All right, fifty-six times nine, and um, uh, let's try. Uh, oh nope, an eight. I didn't beat the bishop. I did not beat the bishop. Okay, uh, let's go to channel four. Still more MTV. That's a tough one. In nineteen eighty-five, Sting sang, "If you love someone, set them free." How many times has this superstar been divorced? I think never. No. Um. Once. Once. Great answer. Do you think I might be able to hire you as a writer? Okay. She's creeping up. Uh, let's see if Brenda's gonna stick with MTV or what. No, Channel 9. Saturday Night Live. There were only three things you could get at Nick's Greek Diner. Name any one. Cheeseburger, cheeseburger, cheeseburger! Cheeseburger! I got my ten points back, though. I I will stick with Saturday Night Live. On Saturday Night Live, she played Betty Ford, Jane Face, and... Pyramat Conehead. More at least she played Allie. Name her. Lorraine Newman, Jane Curtin, Gilda Radner, Jane Curtin. Give me 20 more points, Ken. You, my friend, are indeed a super genius. Thank you, Ken Ober. Even though you look weird. Alrighty then. 250, 35 for Mike, and I'm going to close it out. Signing Night Live. Here we go. Uh, George and your talk were two wild and crazy guys from Czechoslovakia. Who played them? Steve Martin and Dan Aykroyd, Chevy Chase and Jim Belushi, or Steve Martin and Chevy Chase? Martin and Aykroyd, come on. Two wild and crazy guys, 280 points, man. Um, let's see, Channel 7 will be nice. The Wrestling Channel! My channel! Is it a sport? Is it a sham? Who really cares? All right. What you got for me? What you got? When you combine a couple of guys named Axe and Smash, you get one of WWE's nastiest tag teams. What's their name? Destruction, Demolition, uh, in the Human Catastrophe, Demolition. Come on. And you add Crush in 1990? Come on. That's one dandy Sarah Bell you got there. 290 points. Brenda's getting worried. Sticking with it. 
wrestling channel. All right. The phrase, speak loudly and carry a big stick, applies to this lunatic wrestler who likes to walk around bopping bad guys with his 2 by 4 Name him Benny the Bopper Muldoon, Jesse the Body Ventura, Hacksaw Jim Duggan. Ho! Oh! 310 points, man. Hey, I want to close out the wrestling channel. Let's do this. Come on. He was a nasty, slimy wrestling referee. Now he's a nasty, slimy wrestler. Who was he? Who is he? Dangerous Danny Davis, Mean Joe Green, Violent Victor of Venice. Dangerous Danny Davis. He screwed to Tito Santana and the Bulldogs out of their championship titles. You know, you die, you donate your brain to science. 340 points. I am rolling. Channel 8. Off. Bye, Brenda. Have a good flight. Have a good trip. It's getting late in the game. Frankly, Brenda, you're not exactly blowing us away. We are grass for TV trivia. Goodbye, Brenda. Goodbye, Brenda. Goodbye, Brenda. Lightning strikes. Like a contestant on Bullseye, you lose. Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye, bye. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. Good riddance. All right. Okay, time for my lightning round. That's rink real fast. 30 seconds on the clock, I believe. 10 points. I took the title of the song by those British boys, the Beatles, and changed the word into U.S. State. Okay, that's good. You, Diamonds, Night Road, Jude. All right, hey. All right, Jersey. Nah, I'm nowhere. Okay, Lucy in the sky. Eight days a, uh, eight days a week. Okay, that twist and sea loves you. A hard day, night, the long and winding road. Rhode Island, get you into my Louisiana life. I want to hold your up. Oh. 390 points, I win. Sorry, Mike. I knew I would win this game. You see, it's simple. I can beat anybody. Come on. Seriously? Yes, sir. That's it. That's all the time we have. I am the king, once again, of remote control. Who's going to stop me? See, there's me. Cool with shades, man. With the crazy hair, the crazy looks, the crazy game show. Gotta love it. Episode 923, episode 129. I'll get these thumbs complete. Episode 923 EML77 TV is complete. I want to thank everybody for tuning in. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. And I will see you. Catch you in a flippity flip. Or catch you on the flip side and all that good stuff. And I'll see you in the next episode for goodness sakes. 924. I'll see ya. Bye bye.